Hi everyone and welcome back to the Predator WPA World Elbow Championship held in Klagenfurt, Austria. We are having a losers round 2 match now between Fabio Rizzi from France and Wu Lin from Taipei. In the booth for commentating Eric Olifson and myself, Benjamin Belhassen. This is a race to 8, winner breaks and WPA rules. Well, something a little odd happened on the lag there. Not quite sure. The ball was over the line and he automatically was denied lagging. You ever seen that? I've never seen that either. Whoa, he can see the look on his face. I guess that's a thing. That's a, that's a serious r call on the rules there. I've never heard of this. Huh. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, but, you know, would it, would it really make a difference in the overall outcome? No, but you can't play. You can never place the ball more than halfway over the line, and I guess he yeah. just did by accident. Never seen it in the, in the history of <laughs> of all matches. Yeah, so. that's true. But anyway. Little little roll for Fabio right off the before balls even hit. Yeah. Okay. Actually, he's he's from France. He's one of my teammates. He's then the the number one in France. And uh, he has a he has a strong eight ball break. So let's see if he he has some success with it. Eleven's got to go. Not quite. Yeah, he's coming in at a 770 Fargo, so coming in at world-class speed. Ukun Lin's been pretty successful on the on the international scene. He won the Las Vegas Open, Predator Las Vegas Open. He's had some high finishes overall from Taiwan. It's going to be a, a top match. I'm surprised if Fabio did, didn't hit quite hard the first break. I saw that. Yeah. Didn't didn't quite get into popping it. Hit it nice and square. Yeah. So look, could go with either set here. I think he's he's got to favor the stripes because of where the two is. Yeah. Fif yeah. Fifteen is going to be a little weird, but he can take care of that with the comboing it into the eleven. Absolutely. Yeah, I think it's the best solution to play the 5-11 combo. He's got a long reach and he's bridging over a ball, but it's not that tough of a shot, so you're just going to avoid using the bridge here. But then you have to keep the 15 a hanger after the, after the combo so that you can use it to go up table. Yeah, I wonder if he'll try to under hit the speed and just stay on the bottom rail, or if he'll try to play with more speed and come above the two. Yeah. I think it's safer to come above the two, but the 15 could travel more. Absolutely right. Yeah, he slow yeah. rolled it. As long as he hits the right side of the 11 there, he's good. It's smart play. 13 Obvi lies good for the 8. Yeah, obviously. Then Playing the 8 in the left side pocket, probably, as long as he... Keeps the 13 for the last ball. Nice view of Kuhn Lin's grip there. This is perfect. I mean, he has to catch the line of the nine, which he did. Yeah, I think he'll stay on the short side of the 14. Play a follow shot towards the 13. Yeah. Well. Played over to this side purposely so you get on the long side. This is totally fine as well. He'll just be drawn towards the 13, but there's a lot of room to maneuver the cue ball towards the 13. Absolutely. I'm going to play this with draw and right spin. Mm. Keep a little angle, not to be straight in on 
on the 13 to be to be able to cue it not from the rear just a note for amateurs here he's traveling back to the right so draw is creating the angle but he's going to play with right spin as well to help the overall s solidness of the track of the cue ball so it's perfect you just have to roll 13. yeah i might have to add a little bit of right spin onto it but yeah maybe A slight bit of backhand English there, queuing right in the middle and then queued over to the right as he was hitting it. Only a couple players from Taiwan in this tournament. Cheng Jun Lin's here. Cole Brothers are not here. Yeah. I mean, a lot of strong players in Taiwan. I wouldn't say that they play eight ball on the nine on the nine foot pool table too much, but they have some experience playing Chinese eight ball, so yeah. they're they're good players. Chang Yu Lun is here actually too. Beat Shane Van Boning in the first round. And actually last year it was Sanchez Ruiz that won, but the previous World Eight Ball Championship was held in two thousand and twelve. So that's a lot of years ago, and Chan Jun Ling won, won that, mm -hmm. so. He lost a, a match today. I'm trying to remember who he played. It ended up being a Hill Hill match. He played, um, geez, I actually watched it on an outside stream. Just can't remember. Hijikata from Japan. Mm. See how Kun Lin hits the break here. He's breaking from the other side. Maybe try to get the six ball on the side pocket. That's a nice hit. A lot of energy in the cue ball yeah. there. Didn't make one because he hit it off square a little bit. I think that break will bode well for him going forward, though. Yeah. The action on the balls, just flying around. This could be very frustrating. Hitting it well and not making a ball. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's part of the game. Solids are lying okay here. Yeah. Can play over for the three or the five. I like clearing this end of the table first and moving yeah. down to the other end. Absolutely. If it's straight in on the five, that can then it could draw a few inches back to get on the three. Yep, three plays over for playing the five in the side as well. But I, don't, I like your shots. Tracking to the right a little bit, but you can probably cheat the pocket. Get a straight line coming back. So you would rate him over Montpellier. You'd rate him as the number one player in the country. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Nice. He's more consistent. Sure. And um, he's also a, a good uh, Quran player, playing three cushion okay. also. Who's the who's the best Karen player from France? I, I feel like I should know it's offhand. It's Jeremy Bury. Oh, currently, but all time isn't there a, r a really good one? Oh, uh, can't remember. Oh, you mean from all times? Yeah. Oh, we had uh, Jean Marty, mm -hmm. Ro Roger Conti. We had a lot of great, great players. Yeah. And now, currently, Jeremy is already like in the top 16. Is he? Yeah. Okay. France has a team for the World Team Championships? No. We no, don't. no, really? we don't. Hmm. We are struggling having, I mean, top players and also women. Okay. So. Yeah, Fabio won three out of the four national championships this okay. year. Okay. Three Sorry. disciplines. Yeah. So. Actually, he didn't win eight ball, but. <laughs>
Stayed in line nicely in this rack. Yeah. Got a little bit on the wrong side of the two, but he can just draw over for the seven in the corner instead of the side. Radio Kachi, Jonas Soto, please proceed to table eight. He has a really solid pre-shot routine and technique, so... I can see, yeah. Younger player, right? Mm, yeah, I think he's 26, maybe. Okay. And he's been on the scene for, like, almost a decade, I think. Yeah, reminds me of Ruiz a little bit. Hmm. He plays other major events around the world, or uh, yeah, not lately. But uh, I think he's he's, wo he's working also for a company. It doesn't it doesn't have that many time, you know, to to travel and. Uh, Well, good for him to maintain a high level wh while he's working. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, he really has solid fundamentals. And uh, I think he used to, um, when he was a child, um, having uh, gymnastics at a high level also. Okay. So he's used to high-level sports, you know. Sure, pressure. Yeah, pressure and everything, yeah. I think he had an accident actually in gymnastics which stops him from doing this mm. when he was a child. Like was on his way to be a really high level almost Olympic gymnast you could say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Huh. I don't know the word in English. I think it's trampoline. Is yeah. It trampoline, yeah. It was like one of the best in the country. Hmm. So he's used to the pressure, the competition also is a, is a great competitor, a great fighter. Right. So I think he's going to go harder now. Yeah, yeah, there comes the pop. Both not catching it quite square. It yeah. th doesn't mean that break can't work. You know, when you cut it a little bit like that, it kind of pushes the head ball towards the side pocket. Yeah. Left side of the rack didn't really separate how he wanted there. That's just a, that's just a racking thing. Mm. Actually, both players broke dry. So, yeah, it's been three in a row here, I think. Yeah. Just looking at taking the natural angle onto the 15. Just can't quite tell if he has to run into the 7 or if he can play short of the 15. Anyway, it's good to go into the problem earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Shot. Controlled perfectly, even got an angle to get away from that area now. 11 has to go before the 10. Yeah. He could play all the way over to the left side rail and be on the 11 from there. True. It's a good thing he, he got away with that 15 ball, which was really the, the tricky ball of the group. Yes. He was trying to get there, just under yeah. hit it. Combo mm. will work here. Ten's going to track off to the right a little bit, which he doesn't yeah. want. Might just try to use a couple more balls because he's he'll leave the ten down there by itself. He could shoot it. I mean, it would take care of the eleven problem, but he's just making a decision here. Yeah. If he likes playing combination or not, I mean, uh, he chose not to play. Oh, under drew that one. Hmm. Yeah, I think the the shot clock got him. Yeah, he just had to kind of shoot a qu shot quickly. And Cubo now. is tracking down to the right of the six, which is going to lead into being able to play the 11. So he's still alive in this rack. Tricky, tricky shot here, though. Yeah. Blind pocket. Got to feel the pocketing angle. 
Okay, I was gonna slide towards it, the side rail in between the side rail and the six ball. And off the short rail to play the 11. Yeah. But then he has to make sure to hit enough of the 11 to go up table again. Mm -hmm. Nice shot. Oh, oh we hit the point. Stunned it too much. Did he get on a ball here? Have to wait for the overhead. Whoa. So I think he decided in the end that he was going to try to go between the six and the rail, not not play as natural. Yeah. Because he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have missed his position by that much, but it actually got him here. Unless he has a bank, that's his, that's really his only option. Wow, we called the eleven. But he made the nine. Wow. Huh. Okay, an opportunity here for Fabio. I think he just got kind of messed up with the shot clock there. He just kind of just, you know, got himself where he's a little scrambled and. Yeah. I made the nine clear. Yeah. Not an easy shot from there. Yeah, long opening shot. I feel like he should go for it. I mean, you could play defensive and yeah. back off and just shoot at the six, but the risk of that is that the eleven's close to the pocket. You could kick the your opponent could kick the eleven in. Yeah, at, at slow speed, you can really play that yeah. inside rail. The players know that too. They're <coughs> they're kind of targeting the shot a little bit more on the inside. Yeah, I think he played a kind of a two-way shot because even if he missed it, good call. Yeah. Three is going to be the toughest ball in this rack. Hmm. Two lies okay for getting some kind of position on the three. Could if use the six as yeah, well, also come off yeah. the short rail. Mm. Even if the three is a little low, then you, you can still have it. Uh, Four's got to go in the corner. I believe it does. And he's shaking his head and yeah. we're gone. Mm. Yeah, it's half pocket. Again, he can play safe if yeah, he doesn't like it. it. And he's kind of looking at a two-way here again where he's going to take a shot at staying at the table, but he's going to play the cue ball at a speed where the three is going to be in between the cue ball and the stripes. Maybe stun follow. Yeah, I like that. You got it. Nice shot. It's really not easy to play eight ball under a shot clock. Sure. you got to... You gotta think quick. Mm. Commit to your decision. Opposite eye dominant player, but he keeps the cute keeps his fundamentals nicely in line. for the corner here. Alex is going to take the lead. I like how he hit the last break. We'll see if he's actually trying to cut it or if he's trying to hit it more square. Yeah, this is really crucial to work on different breaks, especially with the hand racking. Seems like most of the players are favoring the side rail. Maybe 20% are going to the middle. Yeah. I was mentioning the opposite eye dominance and how he stays in line while he, he angles his upper forearm inwards. A lot of uh, opposite eye dominant players do that. It's just mm -hmm. a small tip if you happen to be opposite eye dominant and trying to keep in line because it's 
Yeah. You're bringing your cue inside your body, so you have to angle your forearm kind of inwards to keep everything straight. True. These players have two have to win two rounds to make it back to the final si final 32. 16 yeah. players are through to the final 32 now. Just going to take a quick look and let you know some of the players that are there. See if we can hit it even better. A little bit more square. Yeah, he hit it, didn't hit it full on the face. He's off to the right again, so he could yeah. be trying that. You know, if we see it one more time, he's for sure trying it. Yeah. See, when you hit the right side of the rack like that, the left side of the rack doesn't spread as yeah. well, right? Mm. But the reason they're going for it is it kind of pushes the head ball towards the side pocket a yeah. little better. I think the one that I've seen the most successful is from the... From the middle, if they're hitting it good, it, it, it can work for sure. But also from the side rail, just square. Yeah. You know, and you, you still can make the one in the side or the head ball in the side. Balls are pushing towards that side pocket. I saw Sanchez was really breaking I great. Did too. I yeah. did too. He, he was on the last match that I, I called here. He broke in round six of the eight games and just hitting it square from the side yeah. rail with, with power and pop. I think that that's that's the most successful break, I think. Definitely. Oops. Yeah. And he wanted absolutely to choose the solids. Maybe because the, of the position of the 14, which is really locked by the 6 and the 5. Yeah. And so... Oh, oh, look at that, the cue ball glued yeah. to the nine. Some kind of weird physics effect there where yeah. it started just kind of trailing it. I've seen it before. And I don't think he sees the six, so he has to shoot the two. Yeah, still has the two. Still yeah. alive in the run out. Shooting a much tougher shot than he would have liked, though. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is he, won't, he wants to have the six after the two and when you have a tough shot and you have a small zone to land you really have to focus on making the shot do you feel like he's trying to land for the six no. it, it was looking at it but i don't know if he decides finally to do it no we gave the priority to, to making the shot yes made it off this off this point yeah but now the thing is he gave everything to make the shot, but the zone he played is not there. And I don't know if the three ball passes the 11. Yeah, I feel like he, I feel like he can make the three in the corner. It's, it's yeah. going to hit the 11 on the way through, but I feel like that's going to track the cue ball to the right a little bit. Question of how much. It kind of looks like it's tracking onto the one. But if he goes forward, he'll still have the four as well. Yeah, it's misjudged the speed. He wanted to shoot the one there. Yeah. Okay, now he's on the rail. I don't know if the if the five, yeah, looks like the five passes the nine. I so think so. Yeah, if he rolls the four, then he might have to cut the five after, and go up table for the one. Is he calling the one. Oh, ah, okay, he's cutting the one. Wow. Oh, wow. That's a hell of a cut. He must feel like he's going to run two rails into the five. Oh, bank. Oh, okay. He didn't want to play the four ball like straight, you know, roll. Yeah, and I think I think he just didn't want to leave the one down there. He would have been tracking the cue ball uh, a lot, you know. And if he did make that shot, he would have been in a proper position on yeah. the five to move the cue ball a lot less, like the four and then the five. Actually, he leave the fourteen ball, which is sure. Yeah, it's gonna be tough to to get there for his opponent, so... 
think he'll try to run into the five here. Can you draw it enough? Mm -hmm. That's the question, yeah. I would have tried to to get rid of the five right now, maybe. Yeah, I think he can draw it enough. He's going to try to move it. Nice shot. Yeah, even, even if it slides a lot, then he was able to, to hit the five. 15, 14, 10 finish, maybe? Mm. Yeah, he wants to be. He wants to be definitely oh, on, gonna, on yeah, the 15. He knows yeah. he can, uh, he's actually going to go two rails. He knows he can get it in a good position on the 14 here. Yeah, it was pretty natural. Good speed though. Good control. It's never easy to control the cue ball on those slidey tables when the cloth is brand new. Yeah, so he's are the balls. He's good here. He can draw back for the ten and use the fifteen as the key ball for the eight. Ideally getting straight on the ten. That'll work. Smart out here, move the cue ball once on one shot, but main goal was to get on the ten properly. Yeah. It has a kind of a funny angle on the 10. It was looking to, to play the 15 on this side. Mm, I think he's going to shoot the 15 last. So yeah. Like, yeah, come up for the 11. Yeah. Choice of draw or follow here. I'd lean... He's going to... Let's yeah. say he's queuing up to draw it. Yeah. I would choose to draw also because the follow is you have to stun it with a little bit of right. Yeah, just like it. Yeah. It did it perfectly, but I think it wasn't easy. The thing is you have to use more power if you want to draw that ball. Yeah. And then on the slidey table, the less power you use, the better. Yeah, it's a little bit of work, though. Yeah, I think he's going to have to run into the 8 here. Yeah, Might be able to just hold it yeah. if he cheats it to the... Just to push it towards to the pocket. Yeah. Got a little more cut angle, cut angle than he wants, but it make him a favorite to make this ball. Yeah. Okay, score is now 2-2. Two, two. Fabio had an opportunity, and we are having a short break now. Getting back in a few minutes.
and we are back here in this match between Fabio Risi and Wokunlin. The score is now 2-2. Two, two. Wokunlin to break. As a reminder, it's WPA rules, it's winner break. And both players didn't have much success with the break since the beginning of the match. Yeah, that was a much more square hit, so yeah. we made two balls. I think that's the way to go. I understand what they're doing, trying to cut it there. You would, you would, it does push some balls towards the side a little more, but the overall spread in the rack is better when you hit it square. Yeah, absolutely. And you still have a chance to make balls on the side as well. So now the the three twelve is an issue. Yeah, it's the biggest problem in the yeah. rack for sure. So I have to find a way to to get there. But oh. first, you have to choose an opening shot. Yeah, the fourteen's too thin, so I think I think he's gonna have to slow roll the eleven in the side. Yeah. Sometimes you have so many balls on the table, and, but you only have one choice. Yeah, it's kind of odd how many balls can be there and only one shot's available. That was a tough shot, actually, because it was really straight in and you have to soft roll it. So. Yeah, tougher than it looked, for sure. I'm trying to think of how he can get into the 12. He's thinking about getting a drawing angle into it with the cue ball drawing over to the right. It's kind of a specific angle, but he could be in a few spots and still execute that. Ideally, you don't want to break out the ball that far into the rack, but the way the rack's lying, the 15 has to be taken care of as well. So I think he's just going to go all in and try to get the proper angle on the 9. The thing about breaking out the 12 there, too, is that he should end up on the 10. So yeah. He can still run out here. Yeah, but you really have to have the perfect angle on the nine ball to go directly into the problem, which is really accurate. So this is the crucial position play here of the rack. He's trying to get it right about where he laid his tip. If he gets straighter, he can still pound it over. If he gets too thin, he's in trouble. That's about right. Yeah. Nice shot. Really nice. He thinks he's a little thin, but I think he's okay. Well, maybe he is a little thin. He, think he feels like he has to go all the way to the rail and, and break into it, which yeah. can work as well, but he wanted to be thicker where he could draw directly into it. Yeah. The ideal position would be to go directly softly into the 12 to stay on the 10 and push it towards the, the side rail, but... Yeah, the thing is, the draw leads him to the to the eight ball. It, it, it del it's hard to hit it quick enough where the cue ball reacts quick yeah. enough. Yeah, it was kind of a delayed draw effect there. Yeah. Might have been trying it. Not sure. But he got away with it. Like, yeah. He, he tied up the eight, though. Yeah. Might have to move the eight on this shot. It might pass the six, but he has the wrong angle for that yeah. anyways. Now, mm. I think he tried to get straight in on the 12. Or maybe, it, I guess it passes the five. I, I feel like he would have moved it for sure if it doesn't pass the five. It looks like the five's block in the pocket, but I think he, he must be okay there. Yeah, it's tough to say from there. Yeah, maybe it passes. Got a little bit below it. This is tricky. Cutting into a blind pocket and probably half pocket at best. Mm. Maybe two thirds. No, he's banking yeah, it. Not even. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so he maybe it didn't go at all, and he yeah. just knew that he could play the bank in the end. That's why he soft rolled the twelve. Maybe yeah. to stay under to have. Well, it's a big shot early in the match for Kun Lin.
What a shot. Great. I like the speed he hit it at. You know, yeah. when, the, when the object ball's further from the rail like that, you need to hit it at Firm yeah. more yeah. speed to hold the angle. If Absolutely. the ball you're banking is closer to the rail, you can kind of get away with hitting at medium speed a little more. Yeah. I mean, he has to play it 100%, go all in with the shot. Sure. But he played it really well. Give you guys a little rundown of the players that are undefeated so far into the final 32. Sanchez Ruiz, Steyer, Gorst, Jashishin, Miguel Silva, Lechner, Naoki Oi beat Alban Ocean 8-1. Probably see Ocean coming back to the final 32 as well. Thorsten Holman is through. Cheng Yulun, Shevchek, Hijikata. Mustafa Alnar, I don't know him. Beat Muhammad Sufi, 8 5. Mario He, Mike Eminen. Actually, I was on the shuttle with him back to the hotel and he jumped in the 8 hill hill. Nice hit. Yeah. Flipped one in the top pocket. It'll be first in on this rack and looks like it's spread decently. Josh Filler is through as well. Mark Beaster Bosch. It's going to be a tough loser side. Yeah. Players are really happy to go through to the winner side, you know. Gets them in the prize money as well. Top 32 get paid here. Everyone's after the big prize, though. 75,000 first prize. Good money for the top eight finishers. Mm hmm. So now he has the 11. Rolling the 11 will give him the 14, I guess. Yeah, just a question if he can get kind of inside the 4 where he doesn't bump the 4 towards the 14. Yeah. Maybe he's going to play the 10, and the 10 will give him the, the straight in I think shot. That's a better needs. play. Yeah. yeah, the cue ball's tracking into the 4 a little too much mm. if he shoots the 11. Okay, he's oh. looking He's looking for playing the 11 and then the 12 and then the 14. Yeah, this works too. And then the 14 leads him to the to the 9. Mm -hmm. But then uh, he has to find a, a way to, to get to the 8. Maybe in the top right corner pocket. This textbook 8 ball play here on the last four balls, really not moving the cue ball at all. Whenever mm -hmm. you see yourself in a, in a spot where you cannot move the cue ball, try to take advantage of those spots. Tracking across, he's going to have to come above the three. I feel like there's going to be room once he crosses over the three. And then he has to make sure not to be too low on the nine. Oh, maybe the maybe the eight passes the two. I have a feeling so it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah looks yeah. like so. Yeah, that's the crucial shot. Has to make sure not to hit the three. So it's really center ball. Good stroke here. Like that. Perfect. As long as he doesn't get too straight. I think he has a small angle going to the left, which is what he wants. Pretty straight. Yeah. Can cheat the right part of the pocket. Force it a little bit with a little bit of stun. Oh, he's... He's he just queuing lower. Yeah. I think he's going to play yeah. that shot. Nice yeah. Hit. Whoa, he hit it firm. Hopefully he's thick enough that he can draw out of the scratch. He doesn't want to really want to mess around with hitting the one. He's barely thick enough. He's kind of over top of the ball, though. Draw yeah. it with left. It's never easy. Oh, he's too yeah. much over the ball. Yeah. Probably he's recognized that the cue ball is going to hit the one here.
Wow, we made it clear. Whoa, Whoa. we missed it. Yeah, that was. It's never easy when you're. I mean, over a ball. Yeah, yeah it makes the shot three yeah. times as hard, yeah. minimum. I try to nudge d8 here. That plays over for the two nicely afterwards. Oh, watch out! Oh. Kind of had to shoot it though. Everything else was just as hard. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big turning point in the match, though, especially if Kun Lin can get his break going here. Must be frustrated. Not. I, I think he he got again. The shot clock got him because he heard the the beep at the ten seconds, and uh, he could have called the, his extension to take a little bit more time to to make the one and nudging the eight. Everything was wide open. Yeah, all that stuff comes with experience playing under the shot clock, right? You know, it's that's why I was asking earlier how much does he travel, and maybe not much, and maybe he's not used to playing under the shot clock, yeah. right? So it's like it's a normal human response. You know, you're hearing the beeps go off, and you're like, oh, I got to shoot. But maybe, you know, maybe you have an extension. He did. That was his first shot of the rack, right? Absolutely. But it's just kind of getting in that mode yeah. of, you know, okay, it's getting low, and knowing you have the extension, being able to call it quickly, all those things, yeah. right? This is one of the first things uh, I learned from Alex Lilly with, uh, when I did online coaching. He told me, practice the shot clock. Mm -hmm. It helps you also to, to get into some kind of a rhythm. That's a big power hit there yeah. that didn't make one. Jeez, bunch of balls going near pockets mm -hmm. just didn't get one to drop. Well, yeah, the nine ball is uh, is in a tricky position. It passes both uh, corner pockets, I think. But yeah, it just has a random note here. You can use a stripe or a solid to shoot in another stripe or a solid, but you can't use the eight. Only in Valley eight ball rules can you use the eight as the first ball. Nine passes up to the bottom right, though. Yeah. Fourteen looks pocketable if you get kind of straight on it. Got to be aware of that ball though as well. Oh, pardon me, he's on solids. Pardon yeah, me, yeah. sorry. So the thing is, he'll keep the three to play the eight, I think, because it passes on the top, on the bottom right. So he has to figure out how to solve the, to get rid of the seven before he plays the two. Yeah, I feel like he'll play down on the seven now. <coughs> play, with, play this with a bit of right spin, make sure he stays kind of straight on the two. Not on a line there. Yeah. Looks like you might have an angle between the eight nine to kind of cue at the yeah. cue ball without elevating. Has to elevate a little bit, but not as bad as being right over the ball. He has to keep himself an angle on the two. Also, uh, should be okay. Just checking now if the eight passes the 15. You can tell in his body language, he's trying to think quick, right? And he's, yeah. he's not, you know, freaking out or anything, but he can just kind of tell that he's like, I think you're right, the shot clock has got him a couple times and he's taking note of it now, you know? And he's straight in on the six, which is not a good new. Ideally, you want a drawing angle going to the right here. But yeah, he is very straight. Yeah. 
Maybe stun draw. Oh, okay. Watch out for the 15 here. Yeah, I, I think it's... Yeah. Say he's barely good. No. Body language says no. Gonna have to jump at it. Tough shot. He just got a little on the wrong angle there. Only has to jump over like an eighth of the 15. Yeah. Just kind of almost elevate and pretend you're shooting straight at it, really. Yeah. It's sort of like a straight in shot, but. And those jump cues are really amazing. The BK rush. The air rush. I see. Wow. Tough miss there. I mean, his yeah. saving grace is that the 13 is going to be tough to get on. There's no way to play safe unless you freeze to another ball. Those jump cues are really, you can really control it. Yeah, I think they're the best jump cue on yeah, the Yeah, really, by far. Effortless to get over the ball and nice power behind them as well. That ball's just ready to drop. Hasn't yeah. dropped yet, though. Guess you could use the 12, or he's going to try to get an angle on the 9 to just yeah, go directly maybe. into the 13, or maybe even if it lines up perfectly to get on the short side of it. Didn't hit it hard enough, though. wonder what he's thinking here. 9 over. Nine. Yeah, I think he wants to open up the 14 and 10 because the, to create an angle out of the 14 to use the 9, maybe. Get rid of the 14 and then. Yeah, it's actually possible not to get a shot after you hit the 13. I'd make him a favorite, but it just be, I'm only saying that because the 10 and the 11 are kind of lined up. Mm. I wonder if he'd even shoot the 10 just to kind of take that out of play. Yeah, and then... Uh, he might be able to keep the 11 as an insurance ball because it's close to the pocket, to the pocket and pocket, yeah. more freed up if he shoots the 10. This is high level thinking here, guys. You know, even on a even on an open table like this, you got to think a lot in eight ball. These mm -hmm. players are obviously very good at it. I mean, you can get the cue ball inside the 13. Do you think he'll go into it? I, I have yeah. a feeling he will. Mm. Almost made the eight. Nice shot, though. Yeah. Mission accomplished there. Good shooting. See how he's elevating down just a little bit so he can get into the meat of the cue ball a little more. Good shot there. He really stayed down good on this shot. Yeah, and all of a sudden it's a three game lead. Yeah. No, just a couple, couple half mistakes from mm. Reed C. Actually, in the last two games, he had an opportunity. He missed the one ball quick and then missed that eight ball. Yeah, he's had opportunities. I, I wouldn't you know, call them glaring mistakes. It's just things that happen over the course of a match if things aren't going perfectly. But they're also the type of chances you have to take advantage of, especially against a player like Kun Lin. Yeah. But you have to keep on <laughs> staying in the present moment and... Sure, especially when it breaks. Yeah. Yeah, momentum can switch all of a sudden. You, st you can start making balls on the break and then... It's a different story.
Taiwanese all have this kind of shallow break stance. Just watch it. They kind of bring their front foot. It's coping knee breaks like this, coping yeah. chung breaks like this. They kind of bring their front foot over their back foot and stand with their feet close together. Yeah, and then put the body energy into the into the shot yeah, a little bit more. I'd have to be coached on exactly what they're doing there, but it's uh, it's working for them. Oh, another chance for Reed, see? Actually, it worked better when, when the hit was a little bit more square, like you said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one was off to the side as well. Problems with both sets of balls. Might have to play the 2-5 combo. You can also mm -hmm. get the cue ball in the uh, area to pocket the 5 directly and then open up the pocket for the 2. Probably favor that. We don't want to eliminate too many balls here before getting at the 2-5 problem. Yeah. Looks like he might have to, though. Yeah, because the 3 and the 7 can be used as insurance ball when you when it goes to the 5. Mm. I mean, you could play the 5 and then the 7 and then the 2. Yeah, I think he w uh, yeah, you know what a nice pattern would have been if he got straighter here? It would have been three, five, seven, six, two. But he's, uh, yeah. he's the cue ball's going the wrong way here now. I think that's what he was going for. Yeah. Yeah, he's a little bit of. Mm, it's funny here. Well, you could also go six if the cue ball's not running into the 10, but it yeah. might be. Yeah, he has a funny angle, and then he has to take a, de a decision quick. He's got to run into the yeah. 13, I think. Nice shot. Good shot. Still alive here. Going to have to move the cue ball more now. It's going to play, yeah, it's like 6-5. Or he could go at the 5 actually yeah. right now. That's mm. a good play too. This is still going to work out. Left himself a little longer on the 5, but he can still draw out of this. Still okay. 7-6-2. Nice hit. Then when he uh, when he run into the thirteen, then he he closed a little bit the window for the eight, but still okay. Yeah, just gonna have to take a thinner cut on the eight. Just get an angle on the two though, draw across diagonally. Could actually go seven two six if he wanted to play that too, which he is. Yeah. Good angle here. Just play up naturally. Good recovery rack for Ritzi. Still in it. Let me breaking 5 3 down. I'll take a short break after this rack and make sure you come back. We'll be right back.
And we are back into that match. Fabio Rizzi to break. He's trading three games to five. Switching sides this time. See if you can see if the left side of the table works for him. Nice hit. Both players just not getting the benefit of the roll off the break. Yeah. That's a tough one there for Rizzi. Yeah, that was his better break. Yeah, hit it nice and square. Pop the cue ball. Lots of balls moving around, just nothing in the pocket. Yeah, it can't get any better than this. So you have to figure out the the one and the eleven are locked. Yeah, you could start off with a comp one eleven combo. Yeah, you could. But then maybe the eleven will lock the the eight ball. Could. Tough to reach over the three as well. Yeah. He might be going 14-10, try to run into the 11. Mm. Yeah, the earlier the better. Not a bad idea to take care of this ball down there by itself as well. Yeah, because it was out of the pattern, isolated. Cue ball can be in a, a wide range of angles here. You just cheat different parts of the pocket to create the angle you want going towards the 11. Yeah. Just try to get close to it. Worst thing that can happen here is he tracks long and hits the one and kind of freezes behind the 11. Oh, he's yeah. going to draw it off the eight. That's yeah. creative. Watch out for the eight going in, though, if he does that. I think he wants to go into the one ball and staying on the f the 13. You know, I don't know. He's going to push oh. the 13 into the 11? Yeah, I'd rather go into the one with bottom right, but... Look at that shot, but... Yeah. Don't feel like the 13 ended up how he wanted. It's close. If you get on the side rail, we're going to see on the replay here. We'll see the overhead of the table in a minute. Yeah, I feel like you, you mm. have to be on the right side rail to even have a chance at it. He can get there now, though. Yeah, that would be great. Nah, it didn't go. Nice shot. Plus he has the angle on the 15 to reach those two balls. I don't know if the 11 passes the 13. It's close. Yeah. Ideally, he'd want to be straight enough where he can draw inside the 8. Tough to tell if mm. there's too much angle for that. Looks like he's going to take the cue ball over to the side. Ra oh, no, he's going to draw back between them. The 3 and 8. Nice hit. Pure stroke. Yeah. Oh, he's playing the combination then. I mean, yeah. he has perfect position to do so. Yeah. That was really a pure hit, yeah. Pocket speed to keep the 11. Nice. Nice shot. Had to do a lot of maneuvering in this rack, but got the job done. He's played well. Yeah. Stay composed. Try to extend his lead to three games. He's managing the shot clock a little bit better than Fabio. Getting down to the end a lot of the time, but... Yeah. Wow, see that long bridge? Yeah. You often do this. 
Good job. Smooth that, player, no doubt. That was a tricky rack. I feel like Kuhn Lin's been hitting the break well, but how many balls is it, how many breaks has he made a ball on? I, I, I want to say maybe none. Yeah. No, probably two out of six. I think he's made a ball on a couple. Maybe once. Yeah. Definitely under 50%. Players are playing with the aerial rack. Arcos two balls, Predator Apex nine foot table, Iron Lights, which is really wonderful. The lights are just perfect. No shadows on the balls. Yeah, well, the nice thing about all these Predator Pro Series events is y you know what kind of equipment you're going to be playing with, right? Yeah. Corner ball went straight in that time. Seven ball inside. That was a powerful break also. Oh, Pretty it square hit. Wasn't actually the very corner ball I thought it was, but ball went in the corner, which is kind of rare. Yeah. Opportunity for him to extend his lead to 7-3 to be on the hill. Have to figure out which shot to start with. Looks like he has the 10 or the 1. Yeah, I think he's favoring the 1. It's the issue is it's, it's so thin that it's tough to slow the cue ball down. Yeah. And it's difficult to say from there if he plays the 1, where is the cue ball is going to go? Mm -hmm. It's going to hit the 11. He could draw it into the 5, but it's tough to control that exactly. He's realizing he has the 6 now as well, I think. Yeah. Yeah, he has to find something to recover it because it actually is not in good position. He wants to take the he wants to take the solid, but the one ball doesn't give him though. Do you not like the six there, and then just maybe it's too much angle to draw out, draw out, and get straighter on the one? Yeah. I guess it's just more angle than it looks because I think you would see that shot. Absolutely. And this is a tough shot, right? Wow, that's a great shot. Now he gets the shot on the six. Yeah. That was a great opening shot, actually. Yeah, so maybe he just he just preferred the, the pocketing on the three more than the pocketing on the six, and he knew he'd be able to get better on the six and kind of play, you know, into this five, one area. Yeah. Yeah, it's all about connection. I mean, the one ball is connected to the four and the five and the four, so. Yeah. But then he has to leave the the two ball up table, even if it's an isolated ball, and to go back from the eight. It's not know. ideal, but it's just the way the rest of the rack lied. He had to play it like this. So how does he get back up table for the eight? Just getting kind of straight on the two, one rail back? Yeah. Not straight, but just with a small angle going to the right. Yeah, yeah. He could get there as well. How do you get there, though? Yeah, he's watching to leave himself uh, a cut on the four to go underneath the eight, two rails. I see that, yeah. And maybe leave himself in a good angle on the two. Yeah, like that. There's actually this one too. You could go two rails towards the four. Yeah. yeah.
Yeah, he, he chose to play the two, going two rails and catch the line of the four. Yeah. Long bridge again. Wow, this is gonna be a long shot. Oh, but the eight it ball looks like nine. it passes the yeah. nine, so. <laughs> yeah, it's kinda tough to see which balls go sometimes. Yeah. Still played away from it. Had a little angle, it was tough yeah. to. Wanted to hit to it more judge, aggressively. Yeah. Yeah. I like the way he's queuing when he's near the rail, as you mentioned. A yeah, little bit like elevated, and so he can go through the ball and deep into the ball with a good staying down. Yeah, but not elevated too much, right? Not like too just much. Like yeah. Just the perfect amount where he's going to catch the cue ball more flush, but not elevated too much yeah and that that really pushes him to stay down sure you know to go deep into the ball yeah you can kind of lean on your front hand a little more when you're bridged like that yeah too. i like that tough match for Rizzi so far yeah a couple of mistakes couple of dry breaks they have to be ready to stay focused that's the only thing you can do. Mm -hmm. Focus on things you can control. Che Yu Cho. Haven't quite noted her progress in the women's event, but definitely one of the favorites on the women's side. What could be the last break of this match? Didn't pop at that time. Made two, though. Yeah, but. Oh, he did pop it a little Yeah. Bit. Good energy towards the rack. One and two. Spread nicely. Maybe you could start by the combination if it chooses t to take the strike because the 15 ball is in a tough spot. Yeah, 15, 14, start moving up table. Yeah. Typical eight ball rack where he's going to have to get a, get a couple small angles, but definitely possibility for a run out here. So do you think he will use the 11 to c to catch the 9 on the side to go to the 10? I don't mind that. The 10 is oddly kind of like the toughest ball on the table. Yeah. You know? it's, it it's looks open, but you have to get on a small angle to not be running into the 8 or the 7. Right. I think he might try to take a shot at getting straight on it here, and if he doesn't, then, then he'll move over because if you do get straight you can draw straight back for the nine yeah nice shot yeah per perfect good zone position play tough loss you can tell he wants it he'll, yeah. he'll, he'll be back Looks like a strong player, first time I've seen him play. Yeah, Wukunlin takes the win over Fabio Rizzi from France. 
That was a tough match for him, tough loss, but anyway, he has to keep on learning. And we were in the booth, pleasure with Eric of Listen and myself. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm going to have another round coming up very soon, probably yeah. within about I'll see you later. 10 minutes. Okay. Bye. Bye.